been talking about doing a marine archaeology project for years, and here we are on the Antiquera Bay in the ancient region of Phokis in central Greece, and we're doing it. Are you, are you excited to be here? Yeah, I think that, you know, it's amazing to me. We've put all this effort into the sort of run-up to this expedition of trying to get all the gear together, the people together, uh, and it's just great fun to be in this amazing site uh, and finally get to, to launch the whole thing. I just spent about two weeks up in the mountains uh, near Delphi, just about five kilometers uh, just up the hill here, mm -hmm. uh, excavating a Mycenaean site from around 1200 BC, the end of that period, when there was a general social and economic collapse all around the Eastern Mediterranean. And that was when the Mycenaeans collapsed, the uh, Hittites and New Kingdom Egypt, and we don't know what the real cause of that was. And so we're here to try to understand that problem and other environmental problems that were faced by those people that really created an upheaval around the Eastern Mediterranean. How do you think uh, the coring work that you've pioneered uh, can help us answer those questions? Yeah, I think that we, um, we, we expect to find is that, uh, of course, when people first moved into this area, that they would have done a lot of land clearance, uh, the development of, of uh, olive uh, orchards, of cereal uh, production and so forth, and that should produce a big flush of sediment into the coastal embayments. Uh, we know, for example, that many harbors uh, silted up uh, starting in around Mycenaean times, uh, and so we're expecting to see that record you know, of uh, the appearance of a lot of soil uh, that is being washed out into the coastal embayments. And hopefully, of course, also, since we're coring in harbors, we'll find, you know, the, the remains of, uh, of pottery and of other materials that uh, had been, you know, lost basically in the harbor uh, when uh, people were moving uh, goods back and forth. Our site that we've been excavating, called Kastruli, we've been digging there with the University of the Aegean. We excavated a tomb and found a prestige number of individuals buried there. And so our understanding of the economics of this region in that period, it's rapidly evolving. It's much more complex. It goes beyond Mycenae and Tyrans and so on. Yeah. So, you know, we were there in the Potami Bay working together. How would you characterize the, the results so far of that work? Yeah, I think it's very interesting having, uh, you know, being in that sort of environment, you see that many of these little coastal embayments are nicely protected from the wind, which would be a helpful thing if you had to pull your boats up on the shore or just to unload uh, heavy cargoes. Um, and there is a, a probable trail network that connects uh, Kastruli with these coastal embayments. Uh, and so that is all very favorable, you know, as a way of moving goods uh, up the coast by boat and then inland, you know, through a trail network. Uh, and I think the uh, striking thing to me about those embayments is that they all have fresh water associated with them. So that there's these beautiful springs that are coming out. It's really an ideal kind of anchorage. Uh, protected from the wind, that whole thing. <laughs>